Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Talon and I'm a Lash Extensions Master and Educator and I'm the owner of Maison de Talon. Today I decided to make my video up here by the window because it's just a beautiful day in here in uh, Toronto and um, didn't want to be cooped up in my studio in the dark trying to talk to you guys. I thought it'd be more personal up here. And uh, let's so on today's video, I'm going to discuss with you what I do for my clients in order for them to have a very long retention with their eyelash extensions. I send every single client a, pre, a list of pre-lashing instructions that they must follow five days prior to getting their eyelash extension application. So I never ever just book a last minute client to come in and apply lashes on them. If they have not followed the pre-lashing instructions, there will be no lash application, okay? It's a list of products that I have written that you cannot, absolutely cannot use five days prior, your, uh, prior to your application. The most important of those in the list are oily products, okay, and strip lashes, and anything to do with oil, okay, to stay away from strip lashes because the adhesive of strip lashes will stay on your lashes. It will cause, it will be like a film around your lashes. So no matter how well you think you washed and cleaned your eyes, that film is still around your lashes. So it creates a problem. The eyelash extension application and the actual retention will not be good if you have used the strip lashes like a day before, okay, or the day of. If you need to stay away from mascara, cordial eyeliner, any, anything that glides, paper, sorry. <laughs> anything that glides pretty much has oils in it, okay? So you need to stay away from any product on your face that contains oils. I really, really, really disagree with anyone, anyone that comes out with content that you can use oil around your eyes with eyelash extensions. I'm sorry, no, that's not true. Um, any trainer or educator that wants to let you think that you can use oil around people's eyes or that your client can use oils while they're lashing, they're just looking for some likes and comments on a stupid post they made for Instagram or TikTok or something. It isn't true. Oil is not okay around the eyes. It creates a film around your lashes and it's just not okay. You have a hard time even with the application of someone who has oily skin and oily lashes. Never mind if they purposely put oil on it. Of course, if I dip my lash extensions in like five grams of glue, it will stick to anything, but we don't want to do that. This list of pre-lashing instructions that they must follow five days prior is extremely important in the application process of your lash extension. Once they do follow this, and you have to let the client know that in order to have a perfect set of eyelash extensions and in order to have a smooth application, you must follow these instructions prior to getting your eyelashes done. Missler water. I know for a fact that Missler water is a big culprit in any bad retention okay i found this out through two girls that were my clients these, these two 16 year old girls that were coming to me for lashes and they were having issues with retention i know that my adhesive is the same my application is the same everything is the same so why is it that from all my clients only these two are having an issue and this was back a few years back when um Missler water was just becoming a thing and they were selling it everywhere and every brand had come up with their own Missler water and so my clients were using it and these two were best friends too and I found out from one of them what she was doing her through her makeup routine and everything and she told me she was using Missler water then I found out that her friend was using a Missler same exact Missler water and we came up to the conclusion that Missler water was the culprit okay so even if you shake missler water, you'll see there's like little oily particles inside. Um, it's just not good for the eyelash extensions. Okay, so just stay away from missler water. So uh, the secret to great retention is perfectly clean, prepared natural lashes for the extension application process. That is the secret to retention. 
along with two other things. One is a skilled and knowledgeable lash artist. And third being a great application using top of the line adhesive in an environment that's controlled by your lash artist. That being said, controlled means humidity and temperature of that room is controlled by your lash artist. So only and only then will you have an amazing retention, okay? I do not fill lashes. All my clients do fresh sets every single month. So every four weeks, we do a new set. Um, and that's what works for us because my adhesive is top of the line, the best adhesive in the market. I do have a full controlled environment for my um, lash extensions in my lash studio. And uh, last but not least, I tell every single new client to follow the instructions for pre-lashing. They must all follow everything on that list in order to have a great retention. So oil buildup on lashes is not good. Dirty lashes, not good. Makeup buildup, not good. Uh, strip lash glue sitting there, even though you think you wash your eyes 50,000 times. It's not coming up with soap, ladies. It isn't, okay? So all of this is a recipe for an amazing, amazing lash extension application. Beautiful results that last four to five weeks, okay? If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload my videos. I am trying my best to make them better and better each time. I will take your suggestions and your feedback. Please leave a comment, please. Help a girl grow on here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have yourself a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.